Oh, that shouldn't be there yet. I'll get my life together here, though. Is this working? Someone let me know. Tell me how I look. I think I look stunning. We went pink today. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Is there no images of anything else on top of me? These are all things I'd like to know. I can't know these things because I'm also, I now I'm aware that there is like a 20 second latency between me saying things and you hearing them. So I'll just be, I'll be waiting patiently. Oh yes, we can see, we can hear me. Oh, hello Marin. hello Jordan, hi. Hello, welcome, welcome to my first live stream. I'm very terrified and nervous to be here live upon the internet. My chair is creaky. We're gonna have to live with that fact. I'm drinking Diet Dr. Pepper out of a Justin Bieber cup. And we're gonna have a great time. We're gonna try to have a great time. So let me just do my spiel. Oh, oh, hello. Hello, new subscriber, vision of you. I, I mean, I'm just trying. Ew. Hello, welcome. Hi. Wow, this is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna do my intro spiel. This is really, I'm always uncomfortable doing my intro spiel like live in front of people and I realize that you are there on the internet and not here in the room with me, but I'm still feeling weird. But hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Hope Mess Tom and thank you so much for tuning into this live stream. If you are new here, just know that I'm on a six month no buy and I'm spending a lot of time being critical, not only of new makeup releases like we're going to do today, but I'm also being critical of my own collection and loving it as it is. Seek out my other content. If you have more questions about my no buy, you know, you can figure it out. You, there's a lot there. There's a lot of content to be had. Okay, so an anti haul. If you're not familiar with the concept, it was originated, the art form was originated by Kimberly Clark, a drag queen creator here on YouTube. They don't really care. They don't seem to care that people give them credit, but they originated it. I don't do an anti haul in the traditional sense where like I'm only exclusively going to be like negatively talking about everything, but I am on a no buy. So essentially everything I'm doing is a no buy. Everything's an anti haul. I'm not going to buy it. Well, you know, we've broken some rules, but we're mostly on a no buy. So we're doing it live. I thought it'd be fun for us to Kiki, sit straight and talk crooked together. I'm gonna to be doing a lot of this. I This is just my nature when I'm in a chair that rotates. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I apologize now. So what I'm gonna do is I think if I shift this way, ooh, I'm gonna pop up some things for us to talk about. Hello, Fashion Gore. Welcome to the live stream. Now, I don't know how many of these we will actually go through because if you get bored, we can just always stop. <laughs> People just stop watching. I can also just always stop. But okay, now we're gonna have, I'm gonna do an awkward pause here. Let me know if you can see this, if it's here. Hello, Felicity and Nicole. Oh, this is so fun. Hi, woo. Ooh, I painted my nails for this. I did my makeup for this. Oh, I should probably shift the mic more this way. Um, will that annoy you? Should I get it out of frame? I'm awkwardly sitting now and waiting. You can see it. Beautiful. Love that. All right. So this is a new release from Lady Gaga's House Labs. I'm going to read the quote that's on this came from Trend Mood. I use a variety of sources. I use Trend Mood One on Instagram. I use Chic Profile Official on Instagram, Beauty News Official on Instagram, and Makeup Release Radar. If it's not already in my description box now, it will be in the future. So check that out if you want to check out any of those. These are my sources. This is academia, if you weren't, weren't clear. The internet is now academia. So there's glam. Then there's Italian glam. I don't have an Italian accent and I don't want to offend anyone, so we're not gonna do that. Say ciao to Casa Gaga, our limited edition capsule collection of new luxe formulas inspired by Italian glamour. This giftable, cruelty and freaking 
Kali Zunye. Mary's innovation and color, treating your skin to luxurious formulas of modern Italian glam. Bellissimo. Oh, it looks like rare beauty. Well, it definitely doesn't look like house labs. And I think that that's a pro. I think that's a pro. I think the fact that I look at this and I'm like, what is that? Like I, I saw this and I was like, is this a new brand? Now, Lady Gaga house labs for a long time has suffered from an identity crisis and it, it continues here. But I would say this is something I wouldn't mind having. Like these look like things in which that I would, I would, I would want to have them. Oh my God, I just looked at the price of this highlighter. It is $42. House Labs sold on Amazon, a $42 highlighter. Now I understand that House Labs is like mid-range, mid-tier. I think of it more as like a NYX level brand. So 42 seems steep, but I I, I love the upped packaging. I, I, I just, I like that we tried something different because it, at least it's not what it was, which is not good. This is better, in my opinion. But I would never, I would, I won't, probably won't ever buy from House Labs unless it were to leave Amazon. Oop! Calling yourself luxurious when you're an Amazon exclusive is weird. I agree. I agree. I agree. That's, that's on period. I think everything that was needed to be said was said right there. And I, I don't think I need to comment more than that, Marin just wrote the sentence finished it for me uh but you know good try let's keep trying it, it let's keep trying gaga i have i used to have faith in you i don't know if i have faith in you anymore felicity also asking good questions why is this exclusive to amazon i don't know i i feel like i've harped on that so many times in anti halls about lady gaga being on amazon and that being confusing but whatever let's let's move on to the next thing because i think it's rather interesting so harry styles has launched now is this beauty i don't know but it sure is something that we can talk about which should be fun harry styles is releasing a line called pleasing uh so there are four nail polishes i don't understand why it's called pleasing but i'm also not a harry styles fan so if you listen to his music riot is joining us Hello, Queen. Ride is my dog. So if you probably heard her trance, trounce, trance, trounce down the steps. I know I'm 20, 20 seconds behind, but like Jordan just said, she she needs one person in a room of 100 to have faith in her. I'm not the person. Doesn't seem like any of us are those people, but I'm sure there's someone. There's always one person. Okay, back to pleasing. Uh, so four nail polishes, these run $20 each and there's a top, a pearly top polish, <laughs> also $20, $20 is steep for a, um, hi Kristen. Oh, thank you for checking in. Yes. Riot cameo. Hi Sam. <laughs> I can't, you're sneaky. Anyway. Uh, Let's talk about this. Okay, what is a to pearly tops polish and why is it called a pearly tops? That seems to have a different meaning to me in my community. But you know, Harry seems to be fluid, but I don't know. I don't follow Harry Styles. So we have these four nail polishes, they're $20 each. And then there's a pearlescent illuminating serum that's $35. And then the pleasing pen, which is $30. I think all of this, I hate that it's called, I don't like the name of this line. It feels, remember when that brand had, um, ooh, Flesh, Flesh, right? I'm, I'm working. Hi, I love you. But we could have petted any other time today. Okay. So the cooling pen, it's a, it's a pleasing pen is cool. has cooling steel rollers to refresh lips and eyes. One side is an eye gel with a natural lingonberry okra and hyaluronic salt awakens tired under eyes and helps diminish signs of aging hydrates and the other side is a demi matte lip treatment with soothing marshmallow to replenish lips so F flesh beauty was a choice i okay 
I like the nail polish. I like the I like these marble looking balls atop, atop the nail polishes. I don't know if these are particularly exciting nail polishes. They're also expensive. And like I I buy Holo Taco, which is like about $14 a bottle, some less, some a little bit more depending on the ingredients, but I feel like having watched Christine and her process when she was making Holo Taco, I like understand the pricing of it just a little bit better, but Creme polishes, I feel like $20 is steep for a creme polish. What are you doing, Harry? Are you okay? You guys are cracking me up. This is really hard to do, by the way. Not this part, but keeping up at the keeping up in the chat. Vision of Eel says, I think it would be better if he collabed with a nail polish brand as we don't see many celebrities do that. I think that would have been very smart. I think if he had done Holo Taco, that would not have been fun. I would have loved that crossover. I'm not looking for Harry to like collab with Essie, but, or Harry could have gone, done Crete. Crete is, um, I've talked about it before, but it's um, one of the, a musician's brand and I can't think of his name, but he, I think those two together would have been a great collaboration because it makes, it, like, I feel like it makes sense because Crete's like this unisex nail polish brand. Sure. I mean, everything's unisex in my opinion, but I think that would make sense. But I, I will say I am pleased by the look of it, but I would never use any of it. Also, I don't, Harry Styles fan base is probably not mostly of the age of people who like really need a lot of under eye work, but that's, I guess, a personal opinion. Uh, but if anyone were to buy these, I would love to hear how the nail polishes are, but there's no base coat. There's a, there's a tops polish, but I'm thinking that's a topper, not like a top coat. Anyway, good luck to Harry. Embar embarking on such a brave and bold journey. Okay, Jouet. Jouet is launching this thing. This is the Le Mini Dip Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette. That's a lot of words. Okay. Six high pigment shimmering foil and matte eye shades and stunning metallics and complementary pigmented neutrals. Create a natural look and add drama with one swipe. The formula is clean, crease resistant, and talc free. Comes with a built-in mirror for easy application. Jouer really wanted to sound like they were doing the most while they were doing like the bare minimum. That's what that felt like to me. It's $25, which I, I mean, I guess is a fair price point when we're looking at something like this. But it's rather boring, but I guess Jouer is rather boring. I don't know. Jordan, I also thought that it was a naked palette. It looks, it feels, it feels like it, it has the vibes. If we were like duping the vibes of a naked palette, this is what we would end up with. I, I, I mean, like, well, it's pretty. I just, who, who is behind Jouer? Like, who is their market? Now, I feel like this falls into their target market. I feel like this is something that makes sense for the brand, but also, who is buying it? Ju, where have you been the past few years? <laughs> You're killing me. But truly, what have they done? A skinny dip highlighter was like the last and only thing that I think that I've ever heard of. Ooh, Felicity says that. I'm almost translucent and I think this would look ashy even on me. Yeah, it's just, it's not it. I think we've we've come so far in eyeshadows to like put something this like this out and feel like it's inspired. Like there are interesting ways to do neutrals. This just isn't it. But also don't use a mirror as a selling point in your marketing. Like that seems like very stupid at this point. And also you don't need to tell me that there's matte. Just call it an eyeshadow palette. Come up with a more interesting name. Just call it Le Mini Dip. Not the Le Mini Dip Matte and Shimmer. I don't need all of that. This is a lot of words. Okay, Marin, I have a follow-up question. You say, I think this is for people who aren't into makeup and only wear it for work. That yes, I agree that this is some, that this is that vibe. This is that vibe. However, Jouer is not a brand that I think that people accidentally stumble across. And so it's not like, it's not like the person shopping at Ulta 
is gonna like randomly come across this. And I know that some Sephora's have Jouer. We had like a minimal amount of Jouer whenever I worked at Sephora. But like they're not gonna find this. They're gonna find they're gonna go to brands that they've heard other people talk about, and no one's talking about Jouer. And unfortunately, I just think that's like we're we're left here. Oh, <laughs> it's what pops up on Beautylish. Uh, when you're hoping you buy it when you're contemplating spending too much on Wayne Goss. So that's that's that. They're <laughs> like you're not gonna spend that on Wayne Goss. Try this twenty five dollar alternative. Listen, clearly we've decided that this is trash and none of us will be buying it. And so I encourage none of you to buy it. <laughs> Let's move along. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. This is, who, I'm gonna pause, pause for the cause for a second. Who do you think made this? Other, don't read, don't read it. But like upon first looking at this, who did you think made this? Because I'll tell you who I thought made this and it certainly wasn't the brand that it is. Pausing for pausing, pausing for. I also is the music okay? I turned it down. I I imagine it is still playing. It, yes, yes, yes. It looks like a KVD palette. It looked immediately like a KVD palette, and I thought, oh, this is kind of a cool release for KVD. <laughs> and then I saw that it was Bobby Brown, and I was like, I like it less. <laughs> Not even I liked it that much whenever I thought it was a KVD palette. Um, okay, great. Thanks for listening, for letting me know about the music. Uh, <laughs> I Okay, this is, uh, what is the scale? What is the scale of this palette? It looks like it's either enormous or tiny. And I can't figure it out for myself. So this is the Golden Illusion eyeshadow palette from Bobbi Brown and has 12 shades. There are mattes, there are shimmers. It is $59. Now, I have been like partaking in Bobbi Brown culture a little bit more. I really like the primer. It's like my be all end all favorite primer. I've not tried any of their powder products. <laughs> oh my God, you all should have YouTube channels. You guys are reading, you guys are reading Bobbi Brown. Ooh, so much more than me. I don't know, I don't, where is oh felicity said where is the gold yes where is the gold where is she who is she where is she? where's the gold you know pat mcgrath also had a golden eyeshadow palette that didn't have a gold in it and it was red the packaging was red so that made a, it was like the golden opulence palette and it was just like beiges okay so we like we like bob maybe we maybe bobby brown is just our complexion gal maybe we just don't turn to her for our eyeshadows but I do I have the cream eyeshadow from her and it's like a very easy one and done but I'm just like not a person who does one and done looks but I like it whenever I, I guess I'm too lazy to want to put on makeup like I usually do and then I don't know because I when I put on makeup we're doing all of this and this is like it I don't know I, there's nothing less than this I don't turn it down normally anyway Beige does not equal gold. It certainly doesn't, Felicity. I am with you. The one interesting thing is though, I love how we talk about Bobbi Brown as if she's still affiliated with the brand, but the person Bobbi Brown is no longer affiliated with the brand and has now released her own brand, which I don't remember the name of, but I remember once talking to a Bobbi Brown rep and she was like, yeah, everyone still thinks that she's associated with the brand. And I was like, it's literally her name. So why wouldn't we think it was associated with her? Anyway, moving along, Bobbi Brown, Farewell, fare thee well. All right, let's talk about this. This is from oh, Melts Cosmetics. This is their Amor e Mariposas collection. Inspired by the comforting memories that you find after grieving a loved one lost, reminding you of the vibrancy of life, includes a pressed pigment palette that has 20 shades in it, it's $70. Monarca blush palette has six shades in it, it's $50. And then what's the other thing I wanted to talk about that's in this? There's gel liners, two gel liners, and then one pigment paint. And, oh, thanks, Ash. Thank you so much for saying that about my makeup look. Uh, and so, uh, I'm not trying, okay. <sighs> okay, also, if you want to buy all of it, it's $425. I, 
Melt is a brand that eludes my brain. It makes me go, it makes me, the designs. So here's the thing, aesthetically Melt resonates with me. Like I like, I like the way this looks. I look at it and I say, inspired. However, every time I've used a Melt product, actually I have a Melt eyeshadow on my, my eyeballs today. So maybe I should think twice before shit talking the brand. I, I, this eyeshadow, I, I don't know. I don't like the way that this eyeshadow palette looks. It looks like, it's like, looks like ColourPop. <laughs> or like Morphe, but better, but not like good. Just like looks a little bit better than Morphe. I don't know if it's I don't like the size of the pans or the way that they are spaced out, but something about this palette leaves me unsettled. And I, I do prefer a circle pan whenever I have eyeshadows, but I don't know. I just feel like Melt, what are they doing? Melt, Bobby Brown, what are you doing? Melt, what are you also doing? Felicity says, Melt confuses me. Their formula seems so inconsistent. I've never tried them, but I wouldn't know where to start. Also says that these look like BH Cosmetics. I think that's a good read on it. I don't, I feel like I BH Cosmetics like leaves my brain whenever I'm not doing an anti-haul that they are involved in because I don't own anything from the brand. Uh, I have... I have the radioactive palette and that's the one of the pinks on my one of the many pinks I have on my face today is from the radioactive palette and then I also have the muerte palette from two holidays ago and this feels like like the soul sister to the <laughs> the muerte palette palette but I don't know this I, I don't know. And it, $70, it feels like consistent with their pricing, but also feels extremely expensive because you could also get a Pat McGrath palette for $8 more. The the big one, the big Pat McGrath palette. And I guess it all breaks, it depends on what you want from your makeup. BH Cosmetics and ColourPop are like the H&M of beauty. Ah! Oh, Felicity, my lip color is from Patrick Ta. And now I can't remember the name of it, but I'm pretty sure it's like she's so mm, gorge or something like that. But I will, I'll put my face down in the, the description whenever I'm done. I meant to do that before, but I forgot to. Do, do, do. I do think the liners are pretty though. I would like to try, I've never used a potted liner and I feel like a real fake of a makeup artist for saying that, but like, I just, I don't know. They're not for me, but the, I'm curious about the pink one, but I just was, well, as I was putting all of this pink on my face today, I, it was a very concerted effort to wear pink. I don't wear pink a lot. It's like not my go-to shade. Um, so, but they do look pretty. Like the gold is pretty. The blue is pretty. The pink is pretty, but it's also not listed as an eyeliner. So I'm assuming they don't want that too close to your eyeballs. Okay. This is expensive. It's pretty, but not pretty enough to make me want to spend money on it. Like, I don't think that we're I'm missing like, um, Mel's just like missing an air of mystery with this. Like, it's just like, what, why? I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's, I think, of the holiday releases I've seen this year, it's like one of the better ones, but like, is it good? No. Oh, uh, Jordan says she had a cream potted liner from Smashbox. Now, Bobbi Brown's eyeliner is supposed to be very good. Okay, this, hold on, I need to, there's not, I, there's not a picture of this full palette release, so I have this section of it that I have screenshotted. It's from Clarity Cosmetics. It is the new Magic Lamp eyeshadow palette. So it has 12 shades in it, four mattes, two shimmer mattes. Don't love that. Three multi-chromes, one duochrome, and two foils. I also, these are swatches. I mean, obviously they are brand swatches, but we can at least see all of the colors. And this will be available on Black Friday. I do not have a, there's no price for it here. I think this is very pretty. I would say if I didn't have so many eyeshadows, I'd be very tempted by this. This is like, there's a vibe here. Oh, Mariah, thank you so much. I hope your no buy goes well. I hope you stay strong. Cause you know, it's tough. It's tough, tough, tough stuff. 
there's a my there's a my little tiny corner over the net. They're pretty great. So I'm sure they can help you. I'm here. Also, if you're not already familiar with HLP, Hannah Louise posted. Great resource for a no buy. I go back to this palette. I like the depth of this palette. I like all the I think this is so pretty. I think this is stinking pretty. I don't know if I would pull the trigger on it. I'm wondering how much it will cost, like with three multi-chromes in it. But shimmer mats. Let me, can we figure out? Okay, I'm imagining that magic carpet is a shimmer mat. Oh, and the yellow one, a friend like me. Now, I would love to know like copyright law. <laughs> I would just love to like have that information injected into my brain. Cause what, it'd be helpful for me as a content creator. But also, when palettes do stuff like this, it's like clearly a reference to Aladdin. And I'm, I'm I can't imagine what the cover art's gonna look like. I mean, it's gonna be just not Aladdin enough to be legal. But sometimes I worry for these smaller brands because they're really out here trying to like capture our nostalgia without getting the rights to. And it's not that I feel like that Disney should have a monopoly on all of these things, but it's just like I worry for the smaller brands sometimes. But this is very gorgeous. I don't, I don't have anything mean to say about it. I think it looks pretty. And if it if these swatches are any indication of what how it performs, they look juicy, they look thick, they look wonderful. Like if you like color and you like shimmer, I think this is not the worst. And I've not heard anything from Clarity Cosmetics yet. So this is an interesting, interesting little release. Oh, I have some indie brands on here this time because we, we love an indie brand. Felicity, I have definitely done that with eyeshadow palettes. I do that with some of my Pat McGrath palettes. I will look at them and I will be like, I'm inspired. I'm inspired. I'm inspired. And then I will put them away. And then I will grab whatever thing I've been using the most recently. So I feel that. Okay. These are from Becky. 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 Becky Beauty. Becky. Anyway, these are their Aurora Chameleons. They are nine of them they're multi-chromes i don't know how much they are they are not listed price wise here but i i have been following this brand with great interest they did a very cool this might have been the halloween collection but there was like they did a halloween collection with another small content creator and it looked very very pretty and i think what's happening here is that i see these oranges these oranges so the like the fire shade and matrix and it like massages my brain I don't wear a lot of orange or yellow, but I always think they're so pretty in eyeshadows. <laughs> I love a shiny thing. I don't know if you all can tell. I love to be so shiny. So anything that is also shiny, I'm very into. I don't I I don't need multi-chromes. I typically only really talk about brands who are doing multi-chromes in my anti hauls because I know that like it's Multichromes are like a thing that a lot of people would like to get their hands on. And so I just try to show options because I went all in on Cleona and I kind of wish I didn't because this wouldn't add anything to my collection if I were to buy any of them. Like I would have to really seek out a shade in here that like I can't mimic in my Cleona collection. Also, spoiler, I'm sw there's this video of me swatching my entire Cleona collection coming out on Wednesday. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you want to see that, if you're not subscribed. But I think everyone here, we're all friends. We're all, we, we all enjoy each other's company already. So moving right along. Who's next? Ooh, okay. This is from Glaminatrix. I don't even have to, I have like my notes on my side, but I'm like, I already know who this is. This is from Glaminatrix Cosmetics. This is their Silent Night eyeshadow palette. Eight shades, four mattes, three shimmers, one extreme multi-chrome shimmer. This is limited edition. I forget what the name of their very Australian palette was called, but I really wanted that. I really wanted that, but shipping things from Australia is rather expensive. I don't know if any of you watch Beauty News. I feel like I'm on the opposite side of Beauty News where I'm like, <laughs> shipping things from Australia is well, expensive but I've shipped records from Australia before so it, it is expensive but typically worth it I have a record on its way from Australia right now so also we're, we're Roisin Murphy I talked about her on my favorites 
so the vinyl has arrived in case anyone was curious if anyone was following that with any kind of interest we like this orange uh yes this is a very pretty orange i think everything about sorry let me get back to i'm like look at all the stuff behind me it's about me this is about me and this is about glaminatrix right now this is very pretty i think if like anything were to pull me out of my no buy trance that i'm trying to live in this this would be one of them specifically that very shiny shade in the top left i can't see the name brand i can't see the name of it from my very small <laughs> corner of the screen but it's so beautiful Marin says, American companies have been saying that they can't ship to Australia. There could be similar issues the other way. I'm not sure. I also don't know. I don't know. I, I like literally there is something in transit from Australia to me currently. So I, I guess it, but it's coming, it came through like the regular Australian post and then transferred to the US postal system. So maybe like other shipping companies are having issues. I've heard that, Felicity, that the Australian Post has been a nightmare. What? Are you from Australia, Felicity? <laughs> Hi. Hi. That's so fun. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm like, I don't know where anyone is from. I'm the, I just got very excited about this. Okay. But yes, this is gorgeous. And I think that this is so pretty. And I think that they were very smart because this doesn't look like a Christmas palette, but you could do a Christmas look with it. But I don't think that it's exclusive to Christmas time. I think it might make you feel nostalgic for Christmas time because if you're buying it now and you're like wearing it a lot around the holidays, your brain might just say it's a Christmas palette. But this is very, this reads very fall. This is very deep. This is like, these are very deep shades. Uh, oh, Fashion Core is from Bulgaria and ordering listen you know I won't often say that I feel blessed for living in America but I have a lot of access to things and I will say that that is nice I I don't I don't understand like brands really I don't know if someone's willing to pay to ship it I don't understand why like the brand wouldn't ship it but who am I who am I okay love this not gonna buy it but love it. Glaminatrix, well, you know, normally their price is in Australian dollars, which is a little bit confusing trying to figure it out. You Beauty. You Beauty is the name of the other palette. Thanks, Felicity. All right, we're going to move along, but thank you, Australia. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> you guys are going to be so mad at me. You guys are going to be so mad at me. Okay. I literally just did a video where I went through all of my lip products and I was like, I'm not excited about lip. I'm not excited about lip. However, maybe you have, or maybe you haven't, but I have been trying to diligently wear the colors that I said I don't wear a lot in that video every night. So now I have been really basing looks. Like I wanted to wear this lipstick and that's why I was like, let's do pink today. So that's how we, that's how we landed here. However, this lip, these, I want. <laughs> And I don't know what Tom Ford has done to me. I don't, I've never been intrigued by their, like their lip products. I've never, but the, these are the extreme, extreme, um, badass lip colors. And the only reason I say it like that, there is an accent up. Is that ague? Or is down ague? There's an accent over the E. Anyway, there's also quads. I just saw the quads right before I started recording and I wish I... I wish I had time to like put them in my slideshow, but I set this all up yesterday because I was like, I really need to make sure that this is something that I can figure out how to do in real time. But I think these three colors are very pretty. They kind of look very shiny and vinyl-y, and that's like what I really like in a lip product. And I don't know, these scream, these, these scream, these scream to me. They scream to me. Okay, Marin, I do live near a cosmetics company store, so my immediate thought was that these are holiday and I will be able to buy them later at a discount. Or I like sometimes Tom Ford ends up on guilt. And I thought the same thing about the eyeshadow quads. If they're all limited edition, you can get them later. So I'm pretty sure I'll be out of my no buy by then. I might buy one of these because I'm very tempted by them. Accent Aigu is up. Accent Grave. 
there's an accent grab over the second E. Look at this. We're figuring this out. We're multinational. We're international here on the Hope Mess Tom channel. I love this. La Tom Ford Lost Cherry Lipstick is one of my faves. I've never tried. That's a lie. I've tried one lip product, but it was like a mini and a second hand. And I'm also bad at wearing lip products as it is. Like if I bought one of these, I'd be like, wow, I'm so happy I have it. And then I would never wear it. That's like the reality of it. That's why I'm not gonna buy them. But I might buy them on a discount later. So stay tuned. Oh, Vegas has two. We have, there's, it's at an outlet store. It's at an outlet mall. Is Are yours at an outlet mall, Marin? Let me know. I'm gonna move along though because I feel like lipstick is not that exciting. So we're gonna just, okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's talk about these. Let's talk about these. Okay, so this is from MAC Cosmetics. These are the Highlight and Contour Palettes, Sculpt and Glow. Now, the, the real question that we have going on here is, are there going to be more shades? Because if there are, I'm very into this. If they're not, I'm mad at this. Excuse, pardon me, pardon me. These... This is like my dream, my, and I know I've like lamented face palettes, but this is like, if I were to have a face palette, it's this. I love a gray contour. I love a gray contour. And this feels that fantasy and that highlight looks beautiful. And I think this is very pretty. Um, oh, is this double gleam? I, I don't follow MAC enough to know all of the mishaps that they have done, but if it's, if it's, um, if it's, they put in everything, then maybe you, people won't be excited about it, but I think this is very pretty. I have Show Gold. It's like the only skin, sh skin perfect, whatever those are called. I have that one. It's very pretty. I like it. So Felicity, I contour with, I contour with gray, but I do put bronzer on top of it, but I always start with a gray contour. Um, Kristen's back, everyone. Welcome back, Kristen. I'm happy that you're able to listen. That makes me so excited. Okay. Wow, I'm just very excited. To, I'm just, I just spit, so apologies, but I'm just very excited to be here. This is so fun. Apricot says the two contrasting patterns of the pans make it look like a flag. Oh, hello, there are more people. Hi, Sunkissed7377, thank you so much. Yes, so I'm with Ash. Ash, they said, um, I want this if they end up having more exclusive options. Same, same. So if there is, if we see a range of these that I feel like feels inclusive I might this might be something that I would buy on the other side of my no buy I love a gray contour and like not to be like I'm a licensed esthetician and like to talk about this but let's just you know the whole idea of contouring is is to add shadow and whenever the sun hits you in such a way that we highlight the tops of our cheeks with shiny things because when the sun hit, that's where the sun would hit, that would be where the warmth and the reflection would happen. And so like under your cheekbone is where a shadow would be and the tone of your shadow would be cool tone. And that is why we would contour with gray. But not everyone likes that. A lot of people like a bronzer contour, but this is where it's at for me. I don't think it would make it look as dead as you think, Felicity. Um, I, I, I think also I bet it's not as gray in person and I bet once it's on the skin it's not as gray I find that that's often the case for a gray contour but I use the lunatic cosmetics labs contour volume one and those are very gray and I really like them specifically that really dark one I love to put under my double chin two 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 okay so Mac we're watching you if there are more of these if we are catering to all skin tones We'll buy in. If not, we're not gonna buy it. Most most of us are not gonna buy it anyway, but just saying. Ah, let's talk about her. Let's talk about her. Miss Ariana Grande's REM Beauty, it's here. And there's, there's sure stuff happening. This is chapter one, chapter one. It's the ultraviolet chapter. Okay, so three midnight, shadows eyeshadow palettes $24 okay so I see one so maybe there are more I also you know I'm taking these from like trend mood and stuff and they like condense things down there are there's a set of lashes 
which you can see there, there's two sets of lashes. There's a volumizing mascara, a lengthening mascara, borderliner, borderline eyeliner marker, midnight shadows, liquid eyeshadows. Can we stop with liquid eyeshadows, please? I'm, I don't know why they're coming back. I hate them. Cool eyeliners. Cool eyeliners? Okay. Um, interstellar highlight toppers. And I think that's what those nine things are in the top. Uh, six matte lipsticks. Six matte six matte lipsticks four permanent lip stain markers nine practically permanent sorry allegedly permanent uh nine on your color plumping lip glosses nine lip glosses that plump okay and utmost important plumping lip gloss clear with a warm vanilla scent and the clear one is oh they're all 17 dollars Okay. Woo. Oh wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna check in with the chat over here. You guys, I saw it moving as I like pulled this up. So, do do do. Okay. We like them. It seems like we like the mint highlighter. We like we like the green highlighter. Okay. Uh. Is it Kiko Milano? Now I would you know, fair and. Okay. Le okay. Let's rewind. The let's oh early aughts Clinique I can I think I have a vision of that even though I wasn't participating in makeup at that time I do feel like you're correct looks like Alme well I'm curious what the other two palettes look like maybe they're not all a bummer but they they are okay let's talk about these highlighters because they are like listed as highlight toppers now i have a highlight topper on today from ritual defeat it's the alchemist and then i also have the fawn on underneath it so like i'm into a highlight topper but a powder highlight topper i guess maybe because the only pow like, highlight topper i use at this point is like a cream highlight topper i'm like i don't know how to do that fashion gore says that the packaging looks better than the picture they saw in a review okay okay well i guess this is like a tbd situation <laughs> ash, <laughs> ash said i don't like her so maybe i'm biased but it's cheap looking and it's a big pass well that's also fair uh i do kind of like we see a lot of depth in the highlight toppers which is promising i guess i i also like a green highlight I guess I just really, I guess I just, I feel uninspired by this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy any of this. I also, it's, uh, does anyone else feel like that things in this price range, everything is like around $20. I feel like these, these are the brands that have crises whenever they are released. Riot's coming down. The queen has arrived. Hello, I see you. Do you want to say anything to the people? Oh, up here. Up to the mic. Right. No, you're sticking. There you go. Riot just kissed the microphone. Hope you guys all enjoyed your little kiss from Riot. All right. Okay, I need to get it out of frame again. She's like, I've never participated in one of these before. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm underwhelmed. I wish I, I, I like Ariana Grande, so I was kind of hoping for like something that would like excite me enough to like maybe buy on the other side of my no buy but this isn't this isn't it and i i don't know is it carried at ulta like is there somewhere i can look at this before i buy it or am i buying this online people are kissing me back riot you're making friends okay i'm just gonna move on from this because i feel like we as a society, we as a unit, we as a team have decided that we're going to pass for now on Miss Ari Miss Ariana's brand. Oh, it's a Forma brand. Oh, then I'm less interested. Oh, I hate that. Oh, well, moving right along to something that I think everyone's going to have strong opinions about. Either way, this is from Tarte. <laughs> it's the Tartlet Full Bloom. Amazonian clay palettes, fifty-two dollars, twenty-eight new, rosy, plum. <laughs> Sorry, my dog is shaking. Hopefully, my camera's not shaking. Um, big fans, riot. We have big fans. Okay, this is too big. 
This is too big. It's too big. It's too, okay, listen. I don't want to get taken down by Beyonce by singing ego, but. Oh, <laughs> I love whatever the picture changes. I love that there's a delay because now everyone is popping up. It's like people are going to have opinions about this. Okay, let's check in. Da, 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 ba, ba. Felicity says, Tart, stop. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Kristen said she thought it was a taste star palette. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the Tart X Morphe palette. Y'all are killing me. It's too, it's too big. It's uh, that very that. So Sunkiss 7377 says, that was a lot of numbers. Okay. These are my favorite colors, but I already own so many of them in my collection. Pass. Now, yeah, okay. Uh, in in my brain, I, sometimes whenever brands release something, I'm like, I'm working at Sephora. Who's coming in for this? Who am I telling about? Like, if they're, they're coming in, they don't know what they want. Like, who am I bringing to this? It's like, how much makeup do you already have is the first question. And if they say nothing, I was like, okay, this, like, isn't bad. It's not bad. I think, like, we also have to... We have to keep in mind, like sometimes it's very hard for me to keep in mind that I aren't makeup feet. Like not everyone is a makeup fiend, makeup monster. Not everyone has thousands of dollars worth of makeup in their vanity. So like, yeah, easily for me, this is like, I, I have all of this 10 times over. Not beyond that. This is not even like, if I'm going neutral, I'm gonna go neutral neutral like i'm just gonna do browns i'm not gonna go this rosy route that modern renaissance decided that was the only thing we ever wanted and then has this trickle down effect we're seeing still five years later is like incredible i so uh, so okay yes i i see every everyone <laughs> I love how ever, it's like, it's a Morphe palette. It is a Morphe palette. This is, but this is tart. I swear it's tart. And that's, that's the sad part. Also, I, I don't know if all of you or any of you are familiar with Nisa Pisa, but Nisa Pisa is a creator here. And she, her and her Barbara's, y'all need to see those skits because it's explicitly about tarts. It's so funny. Uh, 50 Shades of <laughs> yeah so i think um hi majestic beast hello welcome i don't know how long you've been here <laughs> yeah i also think this would be intimidating in size this could have been easily resolved in a palette of eight shades and it would have like it would it would have kids oh you oh oh wait oh, i'm so sorry tart already has that palette it's the tartlet in bloom it is this but smaller now i uh, well i hmm, i don't think i've ever used tart eyeshadows but like they never have sung to me they're always neutrals they're warm neutrals mostly <laughs> um Felicity, I would also love to see the Barbaras talk about this. 18 Shades is your largest palette? Yeah, mine too. Mine too. <laughs> As I have like two 28 pan Natasha Denona palettes in my collection. Uh, so, okay. Maybe I talked a lot of shit. Maybe I do have eyeshadows palettes this big. But I also remove those eyeshadows to make smaller eyes like color stories and that's like the main purpose I have them so you, I don't I bet you can't do that with this I don't know I don't know Tarte Tarte needs to like think about what they're doing a little bit because we had to like ride out <laughs> we had to ride out shape tape we, we, we're, we're done with shape tape we're, okay let's move along like I, I don't know this isn't the next thing this isn't the next thing for Tarte I don't know what I don't know what they're doing I don't know what they're doing they're scrambling. That's what it feels like to me. I feel like they saw what happened to Becca and like they hadn't put out a banger in a while and they were like, let's just try some stuff. Because didn't they put, they put out like a 28 pan pink palette not that long ago. So, no, no, okay. We're just gonna move on because I think we're all just mad at this. Talk about boring. <laughs> 
Okay, so these are from Makeup by Mario. These are the eyeshadows. Um, eyeshadows that are go-to nudes and flattering for all skin tones in matte and metallic finishes. Limited edition. I don't think these should be limited edition, but they are $25 each. I think he should make these permanent. And I only say that because, whereas with Tarte, we were talking about how there was like too much options. I think that the everyday makeup wearer could easily wear this and it would be a very good situation for them. I'm gonna get caught up on the chat for a second. Okay, you guys are kind of reading, you guys are kind of reading these too. So I think what's happening, I think what, I think Makeup by Mario has a little bit of leeway here. And I only say that because Makeup by Mario is still a newer brand. We're still building the base. And I think that these are like great if they were permanent, like you know, I don't know. I could see me selling a lot of these at Sephora. I could see, we we earlier we talked about like for the everyday wearer, this is like, I think this would be like a great thing. To, I, I've also, my friends that I worked with who like partook in <laughs> makeup by Mario culture and tried the eyeshadows said they performed really well. They enjoyed them. I like didn't watch a lot of reviews on it because I wasn't really interested in makeup by Mario. So I think that these perform well. I think that these are a better interpret, like I know they're not like a bunch of different colors, but these look better than like the monochrome trios from Glossier. I mean, I feel like the aesthetic feels similar. So, I don't know. I don't have is I don't have issues with these, but I would never buy these. Felicity says, "I feel like we have swung back around to warm neutrals being everything again, and I'm not ready." Uh, Fashion Gore says it's Mario style of makeup, so it's understandable. I think, yeah, I think I think so. I think that this is very like runway. This is very like easy. This is very like. The everyday girl and i think yeah that's really what mario caters to is like well, not the everyday girl but like the elevated everyday girl everyday person sorry i don't want to be exclusive but as someone as someone who is <laughs> take it all take it all with a grain of salt here yeah i don't know like yes i agree with all of you that mario can miss me but i think there is um value here for people who like his brand or even people who don't know about his brand that walk into Sephora looking for something very easy. Oh, they probably will go on sale. Oh, here's like an interesting one. This one's really, really interesting. This is the Poison Ivy palette. It's Milan Row and Doodles by the Bunny. This is 14 shades with matte and metallic finishes. This is only $39. Fashion Gore, I am also a Pat McGrath the everyday girl. <laughs> That's me. Uh, I'm, I'm working my way away from that, but it was me at one point for sure. I think this is stunning. This is out to, yeah, this was out. I don't know. This probably is already sold out. My guess. Uh, I don't know a lot about Doodles by the Bunny, but I believe that they design like their dream eyeshadow palettes and like do artwork for them and everything. I think that's their gig. They do it on Instagram. Um, yeah, there's a lot of, I would say, yes, Ash, they just made a very good point that there's a lot of green coming out and again, not wearing green on my channel, but I do love a green. I love a green. I would love for this to be like, I would like this to be swampier. Like that's where I live in the world of green, but I think this is very pretty. Like I, I think if you don't have a green palette, I think this is a great green palette. It looks gorgeous. The textures of the shadows look really, really pretty. Yes. I feel like, yes, there's a general consensus of like, oh, this, oh, this, I'm not going to buy it, but oh, this, like, I think that's always good. I think that's always good. Like, I don't know anything about Milan Rowe, the brand. However, if this is the kind of stuff they're going to be putting out, maybe we'll find something in the near future that really sparks interest and really inspires us. And I think that this is a palette that could really inspire people. It's just maybe not inspiring any of us. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with this. I guess there isn't really a lot of depth. That's a great point, Fashion Gore. Mm, okay. 
consensus is we're watching you in the good way, not like Mac. Okay. <laughs> this is the Fet Noir Eyeshadow Five Colors Palette by Byredo. Sorry, I like checked in. Yes, Majestic Beast just said from about the last palette. One for me to admire from afar, but I want to see more indie brands because I'm tired of, yes, taupe is, taupe is pretty and a lot of people wear it a lot, but it's just like, how many taupes do you need in your collection? <laughs> yes, Kristen also makes a great point. And I've said it many times in this video already, but like not everyone has like an elaborate makeup collection. Okay, this is from Byredo and I, I'm so sad to say that I, I think this is very pretty. <laughs> And I think in a video not that long ago, I talked about how I don't do a lot of smoky eyes. I don't normally go this route, but I think this is so pretty. The textures look really pretty. And the the packaging, when it's closed, is very pretty. It's like a matte metal. Oh, it's so pretty. Uh, I did not say fat noir. I said fet. Fet. There's now a different accent above this E. It's a triangle. It's a triangle. And I don't know that one. <laughs> Um, this would make a nice Frankenfurter eye palette. Sunkiss also really, very intriguing, very pretty, but yes, do I never do a smoky eye? <laughs> Marin says that these, she's so, they're so pale that these all look the same. Not enough light. Natasha Jonah did just do a, like a very similar eyeshadow palette. So these are all great points. These are all great points. Uh, yes, I so I guess my my point here is like I think this is really pretty if you don't have something to do like a smoky eye with But that's like your gig and I think there are people who just are like every day We do a smoky eye black all over the lid smoke it out shimmer on top What a world it I feel like you know who does that like Victoria Beckham like I feel like that's Victoria Beckham's MO also do any of you follow her like personally on Instagram That's a trip that's trip. The angles of photos you get while watching Victoria Beckham just on Instagram is truly wild. Also, I mean, I also follow Victoria Beckham Beauty. I'm so mad that my mirror fell out of my mini compact. I like hate that. And I'm now I'm like, I feel like I'm never going to use that eyeshadow because of it. Oh, it does have a glitter. Oh, is it a, pro oh, just like a, just a glitter. Interesting. I mean, I'm, I know there's a lot of talk around glitter right now. I'm still wearing glitter. I just, I have it. I, I haven't bought more glitter since I've taken that information on, but I'm not going to not wear my glitter that I already have. So uh, I don't know. It's here. I already have it. Does that make me bad? I don't know. This is very editorial. Triangle circumflex. <laughs> I love that everyone know. Thank you. <laughs> circumflex. Circumflex. Don't see complex. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Anyway, besides that, I'm I. If no, I probably wouldn't have bought this on off my no buy. It would be something that I think I would add to my cart and be like, I wish you were fifty percent off, and I would really like long for it. But I I don't know that I could. I, at least the way my mindset is now, I could not pull the trigger on this. But maybe like before I was like reining things in, I would have been like, yes, absolutely, I'm gonna buy this. But it is, it is so pretty. Hi, Julia. Dump out the boring shadows. Let me sleep with it under my pillow. About the packaging. <laughs> now, okay, I have seen Tammy Tanuka. I think I've talked about the brand on my channel before, but I don't know anything about them. But we like, we like the pigments and flakes. Noted. Thank you. I think that's, they sell on Etsy. Is that correct? I believe so. But yes, Julia, this packaging, amazing, gorgeous, stunning. But I don't think any of us would buy this <laughs> just based on the reaction. Okay, okay. I need my notes for this one. This is the Platinum Hits 2 palette from Indie Beat Cosmetics. 18 shades, uh, $69 available now. I believe that some of these are multigram. I just thought, Sam, okay, Sam is Michael. <laughs> I'm not gonna say the last name. Trying to troll me. I always need more glitter. Like I always wanna be shinier. Sam has once pulled hair glitter out of my hair in public. So I wasn't supposed to have glitter on me that day. But often I am covered in glitter. This 
it's very pretty. I like it because it's all just beautiful textured shimmers. I think this like is a great companion palette. I think $69 for shadows like these and that many of them is fair. <laughs> and I think that's like a very inexpensive route to like get these beautiful textures and shades and wonderful things. I don't know. What do you guys think of this? Good night, fashion gore. Have a good evening. I'm I'm still talking. We're an hour three in. I don't think I have that many slides left. We're almost done. I think this is very pretty. There was a volume one that was like much more vibrant, but I think this is like more my steez. This is like where I wanna where I wanna live if I'm gonna buy anything from this brand. I'm just gonna move right along. I like these. <laughs> Because of course I do. They're from Viseart. These are the Petite Fours from Viseart. I think all of these are pretty. I don't know that I would buy one of these, but I think if anyone was ever interested in Viseart, I think this would be a good way to try multiples of the formulas. And interestingly enough, I've never... Nope. I have tried shimmers from them. They're all very good. Very, very good. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm very into these. Again, we have like another little smoky palette. We have a green palette. I like, I like, and I think the red palette is pretty. I just think that they've, they've done a very good job doing a very small curation of quads. I wonder what size these pans are. If they're petite, then they're going to be really small. They're going to be like very, very small. Listen, I have, Kristen, I have trauma from my shop missing experience. My eyeshadow palette just like fell apart when I opened it, so... <laughs> Sunkiss, yes. I, I think that, the, like, I, I I wouldn't not end up with one of these. I'm not running out to buy one of these, but they are very pretty. Oh, they, Marin, they do look like Hogwarts house palettes. That's very astute. <laughs> well, with the black, who would the black one be? Was that Ravenclaw? Was Ravenclaw black? I was technically in Ravenclaw, but I didn't, um, I, like, Harry Potter culture is, like, I kind of always kept my them at arms like arms length, but yes, I think these are very pretty. I think they did a good job. Okay, can we talk about this? Can we talk about this? I I'm a little bit late to the party with this. I <laughs> so I guess there's there are, there's there's drama going on about this about it not catering to enough shade ranges. Who needs this? Who any who anyone? Who is this for? <laughs> Who is this for? It's not for me, because I could never use the deepest shade, and why would I need that in my collection? But also, if some if those deep shades worked for someone, why would they need the pale ones? I don't understand. It's so big. <laughs> there are so many. I don't understand. I I I just I I my brain hurts and. I mean, yes, there is like a greater conversation. Like, did we go deep enough? Because the light shades just seem very light. But like, I don't know who this is for. Yeah, I feel like very much like Manny. Are you Manny? Are you okay? It's a little bit frustrating because I really want to like enjoy Lunar Beauty, but like nothing they've put out so far has like very much intrigued me. And I just feel like this killed me from wanting to try anything from the brand in the future. So, Mirren, yeah, I guess, I don't know. I guess from, like, you know, seeing makeup a lot from working at Sephora is, like, there are just some brands that do different tones better. Like, Becca was one of the brands that had, like, a lot of stuff for deeper complexion and, like, bronzers and beautiful stuff for... And, like, I don't know. I think there's a lot of, like, mixing and matching you would want to do if you were, like, building your kit. I don't... If I was, like, building a professional makeup kit, I don't think all of my complexion stuff would be from the same brand. Just based on performance and the way it looks on different skin tones. But, yeah. I, but I would, I would also argue that uh, Lunar Beauty is a consumer brand, not a makeup artist's brand. So why why would why is this the route we went? Like I I just I can't fathom having this in my collection and using it as a for personal use. Hi Lily, it is also very big I, and it's round. I don't know. I, yeah, Sunkiss. I yes, 
is it supposed to be a makeup brand? I, I also agree. I, I thought the blush palette was really pretty. I almost bought it for like that hot second that Lunar Beauty was in Sephora's. I, I thought about it. I thought about it. it I, I never pulled the trigger, but yes. Vision, yes. Vision, environmental waste because you can't use all that. Yeah, this is like uninspired. I don't know. Manny really found himself in a pickle with this one. I also feel, I do feel like contour is coming back, specifically, like we talked about earlier, gray contour, but, okay, this is that She Glam stuff that everyone's been talking about. I'm not gonna, like, run through all this, because I guess if you've been watching a lot of makeup content, I'm sure you've come across this. I realized recently that this is a Shein brand, so I would never buy this, and I would never recommend this, and I don't know, and I've heard the bad things about it, so just avoid this. This, this is not even me, like, sitting here and thinking critically about it, do not buy this. Now, I, oh God, I, I, I never want to be, seem exclusionary because like, you know, the talk on fast fashion and fast makeup, I guess. It's hard because I never want something to be inaccessible to someone. Like I want there to be makeup that is affordable for people to purchase. But I think she and making their own makeup brand is like, it, I don't like it. It makes me upset. It's sad. I don't like it. Okay, um, I'm catching up now. The packaging is, I think that they've done some good things here marketing wise, for sure. Um, well, Jordan, tell the baby I said hi. Take care of them for me. I love you too. Thank you for coming to my first live stream. Ooh, girl. Okay, uh, we'll talk later. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I like had a good taste in my mouth until I did it about this. Sam, it does look cool, but I promise you it's not. I have a lot of... Sam, let me show you my makeup collection sometime. Also, let's scroll through all 2,000 Instagram photos <laughs> of mine one time. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Don't buy this. That's my recommendation to you. If buy affordable makeup from the drugstore cover girl i don't know but don't do it don't do this don't do this this is not great don't i i also have a personal vendetta against makeup revolution and ColourPop, and i actually don't talk about them on my channel anymore and so you will not see me talking about she glam ever again on my channel oh okay you know i think that that wraps up everything i want to talk about because I had a couple more things on there, but I think it's a, I think, I think this is a good place for us to wrap it up. I want to thank all of you. So I'm going to, I'm going to finish reading comments and then we'll wrap things up. Um, yes. Majestic B said, I'm trying to make more informed decisions about buying for myself. I don't judge anyone for buying junk. <laughs> It was so nice until it was like an absolute read. <laughs> okay. Um, the eyeshadow palettes do look like Byredo and also therefore look like REM Beauty. So the She Glam palettes do like that. Yes, Natalie. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't buy from Shein. So I wouldn't buy cosmetics from Shein. I, I, I think I have bought clothes from Shein before, but... I didn't like haul it or anything. I just like, I found some items and I wore them. Um, all right. Okay. Let's, let's wrap things up. If you have, are new here and somehow found this and watched all of this and sat with me, I would love to have you subscribe. I post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as of right now, three times a week. I'm planning on continuing that. I would love to have you subscribe. We're still on this no buy. We're still being very critical, very anti-consumerism, but we still love to be a consumer and we love beautiful things as Hannah Louise Poston says. And that's what we do here. And I have a lot of backlog of content. You can check all of that out. And in my description box below, my link tree will take you to my Instagram and will also take you to two podcasts I do because I like to talk. I don't know if you guys realize that. And I love having conversations with all of you. This was so much fun. Thank you so much for coming to my first live. Here's my, my stupid cheesy tagline. <laughs> Follow your hoat and you will find me. 
I will see you in my next, ooh, whatever. I don't know. Bye, friends. Ooh, thank you. Bye.